I love the Steve Cohen story. So yeah. here are the three points I want to uh, I want to show and illustrate. The first is that uh, the client money could reach anywhere between three or four billion dollars. We right. thought it was going to be ten. The fees are crazy, <laughs> two and three That's quarters amazing. and thirty percent. Talk yeah. about two and twenty, forget it. Yeah. Talk about three and thirty, yeah. and also you're going to be dealing with an intelligence team. Right. I mean, this is, listen, this thing is going crazy on the terminal, as you can imagine. I mean, Steve Cohen's comeback has been a, one of the most anticipated comebacks in Wall Street history, probably. I mean, you think about, you know, Mike Milken and, and yeah. that sort of level of, of, of attention. And, you know, one of the things that really jumps out is this idea that apparently, according to our reporting, in the middle of the trading floor, there's going to be 50 people who are basically keeping an eye on everything. Who had to have five to ten years experience in uh, the intelligence industry <laughs> in some capacity. It was incredible. Well, I mean, this this is what happens when you are accused of having something akin to a criminal enterprise. And, and literally li listening to phone calls that traders are making and things like that to make sure they're not doing anything inappropriate. My question is, why is he doing this? He's got like $10 billion of his own money in the family office, right? Why does he want to add another three and have all this compliance problem? I don't, I don't understand. Back in the game. I mean, it, right? it, it's, one, it's one thing to manage your own money, but it's another thing to, you know, manage other people's. And, and that's how you really prove that you're a winner, I think, in, in the hedge fund game. But you also have to have the clients to do that. And I'm wondering if you're going to have, you're thinking about putting your money in with Steve Cohen. You read the reporting, you're going to have 50 intelligence officials. Uh, you have very high fees. Do you even want to give him your money anymore? Well, based on his record over time, yes. Without, I mean, without the intelligence staff. Wi without the intelligence. The and so that could be why. I mean, we don't know why he ended up with three or four versus ten. There could be a little bit of hesitation. It's a great point on, you know, going all in with Steve Cohen at this point. But, you know, the proof will be in the, in the hedge fund pudding here.